life. And here's your here's the life pose for zero. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Yes, and welcome to Here Is Your Life. Tonight we are going to present to celebrate the life of someone you all know and love, a loaf of bread. Ta -da. Shh. Loaf of bread should be here any minute. She thinks we love her because we are going to go to bed for a club sandwich. But we're really, but we are really going to do her life. Part and maybe her now. Come in. Uh, I'm here, the wonderful little redhead. Wait a minute, is this here in your life? Am I on TV? I'm on. Uh... Go ahead, please, out, out. Oh. All right. Now here we go. Excuse me, loaf of bread. Yes. How many slices do you want? I don't want any slices. All I want to say is, loaf of bread, here is your life! No kidding? I don't believe it. Aren't you hungry? No, I'm not. We brought you here so that we could celebrate your wonderful life. And what a wonderful life it was. Now let's meet some of the, the, the important people and things in your life who, who helped you, help make you the, the way you are. Listen to this voice. I remember you, loaf of bread. Here is a recipe in my cookbook. Oh no, you don't mean... Yes I do, all the way from the bakery down the street, Betsy the Baker! Okay. Here we are. <clears throat> oh Betsy, I'm so glad to see you. Hi there, Wolf, I'm so glad to see you too. Tell us, Betsy, was, what was Loaf of Bread like way back there? Just see for yourself, Mom. It was an adorable little recipe. Oh, yes, indeed, she was. Now, Betsy, stand back as we listen to these voices from Loaf of Bread's past. Oh, Loaf of Bread. Moo! Uh, I draw the wheat in the flour. Er. Oh, no. You don't mean. Yes, I do. It's Clover Town Farmer Fuller. Oh, I'm so glad to see you too. We are too. We are too. Oh yeah. Yes, of course. Now tell us, how did you make loaf of bread the bread she is today? Well, I gave some milk. And I grew it and brought it to for the dough. But it takes more than that to make a loaf of bread. Uh, do you recognize these voices? Oops. Hi, loaf of bread. Without me, your dough wouldn't rise. You needed me to make the dough also. I don't believe it. You still love me. Yes, I do. It's Yolanda Heath and Randy Raincloud. <coughs> How did you help to make loaf of bread the bread she is today? I helped make the dough rise. I made the dough stick together with my water. That's right. I wanted to be here for what the problem with you. Isn't that a wonderful audience? Yay! Yes, loaf of bread, you are baked by Betsy the Baker. And then you sat on the baker's shelf. And you were happy with all the other bowls of bread. Especially when I called Betsy the Baker. Hey. And ordered a loaf of bread for this show. So now, instead of being uh, used for sandwiches, you are going to have a great party with all of your friends here in our studio. Oh, thank you. I'm really appreciated. I'm so glad to have all my friends back in my life. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Tune in again next time for another exciting episode. Of here is your life. This is Mort Zero saying so long for now. All right, cut, cut. Melvin, now I'm time for the Emmy Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor for me to be here as the host and host.
Jesus, uh, the Emmy Award. Say, actually, we're supposed to be reading the rules. Actually, actually, we're supposed to be reading the rules. You are putting me on. Say, no, I'm not. Boring. Not in the stage. Come on, we have to go. Come on, we have to go now. No. We're finished. I'm not letting you avoid that close up. That's it, that's it. Cut it out. Cut it out. What am I supposed to move? But just try to get him off stage. Try to get her out. Oh. What am I supposed to tell her? Come on, move. Ow, ow. Move it. We are going to move me. Say, just move the fat. Don't move the fat. Move the fat. Oh. 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 this means war. Mm. All right, good. Oh. 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 Hey, you. I'm talking to you. Have you seen Sinsardi? He's a little guy with bushy oh. hair, wearing oh. a black hat. Have you, have you seen him? I don't know what he is. He's a well, he's a okay, he's not a vegetable, and he's not a mineral. So that's two down. He must be an animal. He's furry and kind of, uh, kind of uh, brownish. Not dark brownish, light brownish. You know, uh, kind of tan. Kind of uh, the same color that uh, coffee is. When you leave it uh, sitting in a pot all day with a heated turned off, then uh, heat it up in the microwave, and then then put in the milk. It's not a yellowy tan, it's more of grayish tan. But I prefer to be thought of as beige. Oh my gosh. Uh, is it a You surprised me. Is it your birthday? No, it's not my birthday. <laughs> Most people like surprises on their birthdays. Sincerity, I've been looking all over for you. You have to help me inspect my show. You mean that really ridiculous travesty against one of the greatest authors in the English language ever produced? No, I mean my one puppet work in progress. Sonata, Sonata, Sonata and Shakespeare. That's why it's so ridiculous. Yeah. No, it is. It's delightful. It's smashing. It's genius. It's me. It's me. Mark Zero. Uh, inter, interpreting uh, the the uh, unparalleled parallel, uh, poetry and the uh, dramatic ex ex excellence of of uh, William Shakespeare. Uh, tragedy, comedy, suspense, romance, thrills of a lifetime. It's. Uh, Sorry. Now what? Now where did he? Uh, now where did he? Uh, go. Go. I'm right here. Oh my gosh. Bless you. You really want to see a doctor about that gold? Where were you? I was bored, so I decided to go get a snack. Since Saturday, I'm an orange. You like to see all clear cold right off. You have to help me do my Shakespeare show. Aren't you sure it's a flu? No, it could be a high grade fever. I'm gonna go you get it. You sound like you're delirious. I'm gonna go get it to a costume. Um, you introduce me, uh, Capiche. Capiche. Bless you. Definitely a bad cold you got there. Oh. I am a creature of principle. On uh, one hand, if I want to do the show, he'll make a fool of himself. On the other hand, if I don't want to do it, make a fool of himself, I'll only ever work. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, pharmacists, qualities, and lawyers, they are inspecting this door of Europe, Asia, and Antarctica. We brought you the need for a gentleman is Sonata and Shakespeare. Greetings, uh, Liberace. Quiet! I'm supposed to look at uh, Elizabeth. 
was a teller maybe, but she specializes better than you do. <clears throat> oh, that is true. To uh, solid uh, flesh, to solid flesh would, would uh, melt or, and uh, resolve itself into a dew. A what? A dew. A dew. A what? A dew. A dew. God bless you. I told you that cold came out of control. <laughs> no, no. No, you, no, you, what I do, the wet, sticky stuff you find on the grass early in the morning. What, is it something done? Uh, I don't smell anything. Those dew jokes are older than, uh, than the life jackets on Noah's Ark. Right. I like to think of the closet. Uh, can I please continue with my masterpiece? I don't know, can you? Damn. Where was it? Where was it? Something about dew. Uh, yeah. Uh, thaw and resolve itself into a dew. Plus you. Stop it! I'm going to doctor. <laughs> How weary sales black <laughs> from unprofitable seem to, to me all the uses of, of this world. Buy on it. Oh, buy. Tis a, tis an unweaved burden that goes to seed. There he is. He keeps sneezing and clearing his throat. How about that, boy? Since I said you have a bad cold. I am, I am in the middle of my masterpiece. See that? The place is the granddaughter. I thought it was delirious. He was running a fever. I think I'm going to send you right away, Clark. I am not sick! <laughs> oh, come on and say, say, ah, uh, Mark. I will <laughs> not do it. I will not, I do not have a call. I, ah. Uh... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Very interesting. What do you see, doctor? It's not that red and swollen. Red and swollen? Red, blue, and swollen, definitely a sore throat. Your face now is hot and sweaty. I'm sweaty. I don't know what you're talking about. You're crazy! Hot and sweaty, definitely a fever. I'm fine. It's not me that's uh, got a, a problem. It's you, it's you, it's you, it's you! Bless you. It says I'm Steven. <laughs> definitely a day so control is. Congestion problem. You say he's in Sardis sign, John Paul. I told you, Doctor, I'm not sick. I feel fine. In fact, I never felt better. Now, will you please let me finish my brilliant Shakespeare in acting? Mike, you are very sick. You have all the symptoms of a terrible cold. And I'm ordering you to go straight to bed and stay there with a cup of hot tea for at least a week. A week? Above all, I don't you to say one word. You might damage your throat. But I'm not. Don't talk to me. You want to get better, don't you? I'll take your husband and call your health insurance company early in the morning. My health insurance company? I'll be playing golf. Maybe you're right. This whole experience uh, has left me feeling a little, little tired. Um, go on, go to bed. This was Ladies and gentlemen, John the Paul Age is one of these parts of the lawyers in the words of the bar himself. These shadows are offended. <coughs> Where? No talking, go to bed. Ladies and gentlemen, John the Paul Age is one of these parts of the lawyers in the words of the bar himself. These shadows are offended. Think not of all that uh, is mended. The fact of my offensive, it's all more to his fault. You want some real learner, David? Yeah! Good. I'll go my friend John Paul. Oh, John Paul! He's going to entertain you with a little song for you. John Paul! Managing a song for you. Oh. Ah! Yes, sorry? Mm -hmm. Well, these friends of mine are just really forced to watch for your performance tonight in Shakespeare. Um...
from, uh, either yourself, but since already, what can I do for you? Well, these both by the ability to enforce the lot towards your performance and not in Shakespeare. Oh, no! I know, is it awful? Sure is. I was wondering if you could entertain them the whole song. I know a good go home, going home song, but do you have to help me out with it? Do you, oh. do you want, do you know what song I'm thinking of? I think I do. Ha ha! Day o, day o, daylight come and me one go home. Day, he said 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 day o. Daylight come and me one go home. Work all night, got a drink of rum. Daylight come and me one go home. Stop but out, I hear the morning come. Daylight come and me one go home. Come, Mr. Tally Man, tally me bananas.
shall live.